Hey guys, it's Tanya, and today I'm going to show you how to touch up a photo on the PicMonkey mobile app. To get started, just tap the touch up icon. The Presto effect analyzes your face and automatically applies the other touch up effects. If you want a one click solution, use Presto. Presto has three settings. If you tap the icon once, the effects are applied a little bit. If you tap it again, they're applied a little bit more. And if you tap it a third time, they're applied all the way. As you can see, it makes a big difference. Once Presto is applied, I can still go into any of the other effects and make adjustments. For example, I think her eyes are a little too bright, so I'm going to go into brighten and make adjustments. I just use the slider to dial down the effect. If I want to paint the effect on somewhere else, I just make sure that the paintbrush is selected and I can start painting. A blue mask will appear over my image showing me where the effect has already been applied. To erase off of an image, tap the eraser icon and start erasing. The blue mask will also appear. Aside from Nip Tuck, all the other effects were also applied when you tapped Presto. You can tap into any one of them to make changes. To remove Presto from your image, just tap it for a fourth time. Now you can go in and edit each effect individually. We'll start with Smooth, which evens out skin. To get a better look, I can zoom into my image by spreading my fingers apart on the screen. I'm going to start by painting the effect where I want to apply it. Might as well give her a full beauty mask. I went a little bit off of her face, so I'll just tap the eraser icon to clean that up. Now I'll adjust the slider to customize how the effect is applied. Now I'll go into Blemish Fix, which is a spot corrector. Unlike the other effects, Blemish Fix is applied by tapping the picture instead of painting. Let's look at Whiten, which whitens teeth. Again, I'm just going to zoom in and paint the effect on. Then I'll just zoom out by pinching my fingers together and adjust the slider. And then there's Brighten, which we already saw Brighten's eyes. When you're happy with how your image looks, tap the check mark to apply the touch-up effects. Now let's take a look at the Nip Tuck effects. If you scroll to the end of the touch-up effects, you'll find the Nip Tuck tools. These work a little bit differently than the rest of your touch-up effects, but they can help you edit your image by making certain parts of it larger or smaller, or by shifting stuff around. Nudge lets you push and pull the pixels in your image. I'm going to use it here to make it look like she's arching her eyebrows. I don't like how that looks, so I'll use the eraser to erase it. I'll zoom in and try again. Like the other effects, I can adjust the slider to make the effect more or less intense. I want each of these effects to be applied to a different degree, so I'm going to apply them one at a time. Otherwise, they're all controlled by the same slider. Reduce makes parts of your image look smaller. Apply it on by tapping. And again, the slider can make it look more or less pronounced. Lastly, the fill effect can make parts of your picture bigger. Just tap to apply, then adjust the slider. Check out the before and after. Thanks for watching! For more PicMonkey tips and tricks, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel.